Yeah, thank you very much, Jasper. And right on cue, the sun has come out here at Royal Troon for the first time today. Um, and my ray of sunshine on my right here is the reason for that. Uh, radar. Let's talk about actually the conditions first, because so far today has been a carbon copy of yesterday. Those out really early this morning were able to get some good scores on the board. Those are around, out around sort of half nine, ten, got some pretty difficult conditions to play in. But yesterday afternoon, the wind just then disappeared at about sort of five o'clock. So is that what those afternoon starters will be hoping for? Well, they'll be hoping for it. Don't you worry about that. They'd be looking at the weather, weather forecast, big style, as you do when you get up in the morning here. The first thing you do is you look out the window, see which way the, um, open the curtains, look out the window, see which way the wind's blowing. So it's going to be tough out here. It's really tough. This first hole ride, I've been watching a few guys before I go out with the Rory group, and they didn't drive five irons in there. Yeah. And it's, 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 that's unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, usually it's just a two iron and a nine iron. Yeah. Two iron and a wedge. So this is tough out there today. Royal Troon is showing its teeth, and uh, she's humming up to 30 mile an hour. Well, to, to illustrate that, I've just seen on, on, the, on the par three fifth, Justin Thomas took five wood off the tee and came up 83 yards short. Saw it on TV. <laughs> I saw it on TV with our great Sky Sports commentary, and I don't know how he got there because I didn't see the tee shot. Yeah. And, um, but anyway, straight strange, the str popped it straight up in the air. Exactly. Um, we're going to talk about Rory just very shortly, but let's talk about his good pal for Shane Lowry, who's sitting atop that iconic yellow leaderboard at the moment. 69 today in some pr the toughest of the conditions. There was a debacle in the 11th, and he was able to keep his head and then play the last seven holes in two under par, and he's sitting pretty at the moment. Oh, well... Shane Lowry has the game to win around every, any golf course. We know that any of the major venues. He because he is so creative. You know he's got the greatest hands I'd imagine in the game right now. Scotty Scheffler maybe a little better. You know they could both play the old tickle the ivories, the old piano I reckon. But when you get when you get uh, Shane Lowry on a golf course like this, that where he grew up in in Ireland. Mm -hmm. I mean low, high, working at a yeah. creative golf, tacking his way around a golf course like right now. And he's been trending coming yeah, into this, has. Wizzy. Yeah. He really has yeah. been. He's been playing very, very well without a win. Well, he had a win. Yeah, he had a win with his great Zurich, mate Rory yeah. McIlroy uh, in Zurich, yeah. But, um, you know, not individually. And, look, it wouldn't surprise me if, if uh, Shane won another one of these. Look, no, let's, exactly. let's just all hope. But there are so many contenders uh, going into this, uh, for him, going into this weekend final two rounds. These guys yeah, have still yeah. got a round to play. These guys have still got three rounds to uh, play in this gale. I've just been reliably informed by Martin Slumbers, of all people, that the weather tomorrow is supposed to be absolutely atrocious, and we know that Shane Lowry tends what, to do... rain? Yeah, because constant rain, and Shane hates the rain, but tends to do very well in the rain. So What about me? Yeah, we'll get you a waterproof jacket. Don't worry about that. Um, let's talk about quickly about Tiger Woods. 14 over par. He's going to miss the cut by at least eight shots. It's sad to see one of the greatest players of all time sort of buy out with a bit of a whimper. But I think his body's just not up to it at the moment. Can his body get back to the sort of position where it is up to it? Well, I read on social media last night that he said, Tiger Woods, he said that he thinks next year will be better. Yeah. Uh, I read that. And that means he's going to work, whether he's playing from now to the end of the year. You imagine he's going to play in his own uh, Hero Challenge. Yes, he is, yeah. Well, he'll play there. But he needs to play more than that. Yeah. You've got to have reps up. You've got to be able to play against these guys and get it up and down and not make silly mistakes, just know where not to hit it. No one can just go, look, you know, Carl Lewis back in the day couldn't run the 100 at the Olympics final without having a few practice runs, could yeah. he? You've got to have that, and let's just hope he plays some more golf, because I don't want to see him go, yeah, not even 50 yet. No, no. You know, he knows something maybe that we we don't. 